guys welcome to my channel once again it's another tuesday um and today i am doing a centerpiece for you guys um and so with centerpieces it's always kind of like um tricky for me i try to like explore my creative side and just you know just go with the flow so um with this one um it's I, I'm, I'm doing a kind of like a butterfly flower kind of theme um so i'm going to show you how to make a, butter, a balloon butterfly and then i'm going to like build it up on the centerpiece so the base um, i'm thinking of making it like organic kind of base then the upper parts will be like a normal one so i've got my lomi pedestal so this is the lomi dish and this is the pole um i've, I've glued it on, onto the dish um i use a hot melt glue gun that's what i used to like attach the pole to the dish so i have it fixed yeah and you can see the base is clear so you know it's a clear one so it's kind of like easy to use um so i'm trying a new kind of balloons i just found them um and it's a uh, it's i've never used them before but it's kind of like really hard um but i think it's true to color i like the colors um this is a, i think it says it's um pistachio color and i bought the the baby pink one i like how the fact that it's strong i know some people don't like really strong balloons but it's written here already that's a strong one um and it's i got it from tiger fit direct it's um i think it's made by patty decor it's from holland or something um anyway I, and it's really cheap this five inches is like two pounds something um yeah for the quality i think it's not bad at all so i guess i'll be using more of it um i am a strong believer in using quality balloons but if you can get cheap ones that are of great quality why not yeah just use it um i've heard of um grabble i've not used them before um but yeah i'm looking forward to using it so moving on i'm gonna start off with the base i've got my hand pump and i'm gonna be using five of the pistachio five of them i'm going to fit them i'm going to be using my hand pump not the um, electric pump and sizer so i'm just going to be using the, the pump to kind of like size it and so yeah pull the pump out so i'm going to use i'm going to do like two pumps no i think i'll use three sorry one two three so that's it it helps you with you know sizing accurately one two three that's it it's the same size okay, tie it tightly so I'm going to do another three. Put the hand pump down. So one, two, three. So guys, um, tell me how has it been with business in your area? Um, have you uh, have you been able to like you know price your work right and all of that? Because I know a lot of you struggle with pricing. Um, and I'm, I'm a big advocate of pricing right. Um, because what's the point of having a business and you're not making anything out of it i don't see any sense in that one two, three. so um i make sure i price right so this is the fifth one so i'm going to tie the fifth one to this one this two the balloon is kind of really hard but i feel the quality ain't bad at all um i've seen worse quality you know i've seen worse balloons and um i think they're pastels pastel this is um pastel pale pink and it's five inches and it's hundred in the back. Um and the the green one is um so I'm gonna count again. Here we go. One, two, three, that's one. Um down. One, two, three. Um I'm not really fussed about the no, not fussed. I'm not really crazy about the pink one. Um I like my pastel pink. Really, I don't like it too, like, too, like, it's not, it's too thin. I like it, you know, I like the rich kind of, so maybe next time I'm going to use it, I'll double stuff it with white. Um, um, I'm so this is for the top part. So I'm going to try this one. So um, I just just so you guys know, um, I just joined the um, Amazon influencer program. Um, so I'm gonna have a link below where you know I've got my favorite kind of um items. I think most of the things you guys ask me where I get them from, um, like the um um when you go into my shop, you would find you know the balloon. Um, I know there's uh, um, there's a balloon hoop, the the big balloon hoop the, the big balloon ring yeah you would find it there so for the this next one i'm going to be using just one pump because i don't like the top one looking too big i'm just going to use one pump so, that's it that's it 
actually I feel it's too kind of like small so I'm gonna try two pumps sorry guys yeah so I do one and a half let's see yeah this looks better because of the lack of space in my house I'm just trying to tricky to get the right spot to film from. Um, but hey. So this, this has gone down because I didn't hold on to it well enough. So I'm going to re-inflate it. I was going to even tell you guys, um, so I have been invited to um, to Nigeria to teach at the Balloon Conference. Um, it's something I'm so excited about. So if any of you are watching me from Lagos, Nigeria or anywhere in Africa, um, yes, it's it's called um, African Balloon Conference. Um, and myself and other, like, there's some other great tutors coming to the event. It's going to be a really good one and it's happening in November. I think it's from the 12th. No, it's the 12th and the 13th in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be fun. You're going to get to like learn so much. Um, it's not an event a balloon artist based in Africa would want to miss. So if you're watching from you know, Nigeria, Ghana, anywhere in Africa at all, um, trust me, you're going to love coming. So please set your dates, yeah? And make sure you come because it's going to be a great one. Um, so I'm going to start doing the base. Um, so I'm going to do the um, pistachio first. Sorry, I'm bad at pronouncing certain things. Um, so let me bring this back. So, um, you can see clearly in the camera. So I'm going to wrap it round. Wrap it round. Yeah. Yeah, the second one. Um, now, this balloon, inflating it is not bad, but wrapping it around the pedestal now, I feel it's kind of, I can feel the hard, the hard, bit I, I can feel it so um i think yeah if you're one who um who worries about the feel of balloons yes i'm not sure this is for you but to be honest for the price it's not bad at all compared to a quality text balloon so you see so you have i have the six so like i said i said i wanted the base to be kind of like organic key kind of so i've got some small balloons that i've inflated so i'm just going to be wrapping it around I was talking about. I've lost one there. I'm just going to replace it. I think it is stuck. That was from pushing the balloon down. Because it was too hard. And your balloon is too hard. Yeah, so I'm going to start wrapping this round. I hope I don't lose it anymore. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it.
So I'm going to tie another one to the base one. For easy, I think for easy um, attachment, especially if it's strong volume, it's best to wrap this round, it's just like secure. around this one. Top 260 key, I'm just gonna cut it up. So, like I said, I'm just gonna have the base um, in the organic kind of look. Uh, normally, I'll use a 260 key that is close to this color, but so please, when you're doing the fun event, use a 260 key that is close to the color you're using. Do not do what I've done. Had balloon. Yes. Okay. So can you see how it's looking? The base is looking really pretty already. I like what I see. So I'm just gonna flip this side. Um not sure. I think I'm done with this bit. So I'm gonna add flowers to the bottom at the end. Butterfly now. So my plan is to um, double stuff a five inch balloon into a six inch um, love art shaped Qualitex balloon. Um, so you just put it, I've got, this is a pencil, you can just use any stick at all. Um, and you just put it in. I've had a six inch um, hat for a long time, so um, it could be kind of like tricky. To push in, um, so I'm going to count the pumps as I did earlier. So I'm going to use two, I'll, I'll use three. Um, okay. I think the five inch inside is not good enough. So I'm going to put another one. And then for the body part, because this this two there for the wings, so for the body part, I'm going to be using a 260Q gold. Um, so this is what I'll do. I'll inflate it just a little bit. 
So I've got four pumps inside to tie it off. And then you do a double pinch. The last a pinch twist. Yeah. You press down the balloon. So you have space when you push the next bubble. So I'm going to do another bubble of the same size. I'm going to pinch it. And then, see, I've got two pinch twists. Can you see? So I'm going to wrap this round. This two round. So, and so you wrap it up, see? So I'm going to take the 260 chrome balls. Put it in the middle. And then, Use the eyes. So for the eyes, what you just need to do is you get to 60 Q, to 60. I'm not using this. I'm just going to use it to show you how to do the eyes. Um, you get it. Get it. And then there's this technique. I'm going to take it to the bottom. I need to do it. Okay. So you type this off, I think. Um, and if I get this technique, and um, so I think what I would normally do is I'll just have this. So this is one, and I'll just cut it off at the end. I'll tie it off. So I'll do the same thing to the other side. I think I'm going to inflate it and have this two of this. And um, so, so I've got the eyes here. I know there are different ways of doing the eyes. Um, this should be longer than this, so because I don't have enough um, enough white balloon. So, so there you have my simple butterfly. Um, so I'm going to finish up the centerpiece now. We're going to do the top part. I'm just going to just the camera. So I'm going to wrap this around. This one. Standing, so can you see? Yeah, so I'm just gonna like, um, I've got my double sided tapes over here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna cut some strips off. So I'm just gonna rub it because I've had it in the back for a long time, and I'm gonna attach it to the bottom. The bottom fly. So remember, when you want to do the eyes, you need to make sure you have a longer, um. The longer that's the problem with this too. I think I placed it in the wrong spot. Yeah. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> My tape is not good on here. Now, to finish, to cover it up, to add a little bit of difference to it, I'm going to add uh, balloon flowers. Um, I'm sure you've seen the video of how to do these flowers. So I'm just going to get the double-sided tape. The reason why I have to blow it onto this is because... Um, it's kind of cold in here, so I'm going to place one here. Yeah, like that. And I've got a lilac one. This one is a double stuffed flower, so I put a lilac um, 260Q into a white balloon. the next one yeah. yeah and then I've got another one yeah, actually I've got this one is just a four petal one just a small flower And then the last one, right, that's all. Cut the tape. I'm going to place it. turn to so this was just something I just thought of um, so another thing you could do is if you've got like um, um, chrome gold little chrome gold like this this is a 260 cube chrome gold so I'm just gonna um, so you could just press it round you know press it round everything to just give you another kind of you know different feel so um that is it from me today thank you everyone for watching please remember to click the link my um my amazon shop link you would see um my recommended items there and you can just buy straight from the link and um, thank you once again for watching my videos please remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet Remember to share and like, and yes, tell me what else you would love to see from me. Remember, if you're in Africa, if you're in, um, in, in Nigeria, any part of Africa, you can come to Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. It is happening live. I am going to be taking part. I'm going to be teaching, yes, in the African Balloon Conference in November in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, and I'm going to try and film the whole thing and you know shave with you guys and um, so see you some other time see you next week thank you bye